This question has also been taken from the SBI PO mains 2017 paper. This question as usual is memory based. A similar question was asked. Figures might be a bit different. So let us see how to tackle this question. A, B and C invested Rs. 900, 1600 and 700 respectively. After first quarter, they invested additional amount in the ratio 2 is to 5 is to 3. They added some more amount. Let us say K is the multiplier 2K, 5K and 3K, the amount they invested. After second quarter, they invested additional amount in the ratio 4, 3, 4. We'll let us write some 4P, 3P, 4P. And again third quarter they invested additional amount in the ratio 7 is to 6 is to 7. So we can say they invested probably 7S, 6S and 7S for the third quarter. Now the question is, there are two questions based on this one. We are taking the first question. The second question on the same data is uh, I'll solve just after this one. Both these questions were asked. If the sum of the total amount invested by A and B in the year is 9000. So A and B together is 9000, B and C together is 10500. Then find the total amount invested by all of them for only the second quarter. So we have to find the amount they invested here which is the second quarter. Okay. The best way to do would be to write the individual investments first. That's all we can do. We can start with investments by A are 900 plus 2K plus 4P plus 7S. This is the investment by A. Investment by B 1600 plus 5k plus 3p plus 6s and investment by c 700 plus 3k plus 4p and plus 7s so these are the investments by the three participants throughout the year. Now what is given to us can be put in the form of an equation. If the sum of the total amount invested by A and B in the year is 9000. So we'll write 9000 is equal to A and B together 16 and 9 2500 plus 7k 7P 13S This is one thing. Similarly, the total for B and C is 10,500. So we can write 10,500 is equal to add B and C 2300 plus 8K plus 7p plus 13s these are the two equations and what is asked find the total amount invested by all of them for only the second quarter that is we have to find out this one 2k plus 5k plus 3k so we will need the value of k so our effort should be to find out the value of k from these two equations. Let us let us inspect. We can see that 7p, 7p, 13s and 13s they are same figures. We can get rid of them if we subtract the equations. After we subtract these two will go away k will be left and some figures that will give us k and then that k can be used here. To find out the answer. Subtract 1500, subtract upper from lower, 
माइनस टू हंड्रेड प्लस के दिस ऑल गोज अवे देर फोर के इज इक्वल टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड दिस टू हंड्रेड गोज दैट वे विच एम्प्लाइज टू के प्लस फाइव के सेवन के प्लस थ्री टेन के रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू is equal to 10k is equal to 10 into 1700 is equal to 17000 which is the required answer so this is how we take up this question what i see is that the questions in this year's exam they require you to have good skills at observing the equations and trying to look for cancellations so if you see the questions that i have already solved in the previous videos you will find a similar pattern strikingly similar pattern that was never seen in any of the previous exams conducted by sbi earlier let us move to the next question now the question is based on the same data that was for the previous question A, B, and C invested so many, and after first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, the difference is this question. Let us read that. If they had invested additional amount at the end of each quarter, in the same ratio as they had invested after the end of the sec first quarter, then what is the profit of B at the end of one year if the total profit was? this much what this means is that in place of this the ratio had been 2 is to 5 is to 3 and in place of this one the ratio had been 2 is to 5 is to 3 then we have to tell the profit of b at the end of one year so what is the value for b middle one it can be done mathematically but i found a better solution that you can simply observe this is 3 to 5 and 5 is in between similarly 3 to 5 and 5 is in between 3 to 5 5 is in between And likewise, nine hundred plus seven hundred, sixteen hundred, and sixteen hundred in between. So, can you see through this? So, we observe investment of B, investment of B is fifty percent. What do you say? Nine hundred plus seven hundred of others and B alone sixteen hundred fifty percent. Here also five is half of ten. Five is half. Five is half. So therefore, profit must also be. Profit must also be fifty percent. That is one two five. By two, which is equal to two six two five double zero rupees, which is the required answer. So sometimes such lollipops are also there, and just presence of mind is of course required. I know it's difficult in a hot running exam, but things like this sometimes they strike. and if you are at the luck